Did I just go? Oh, no, no. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, we'll have to start from the beginning to explain that one. So I'm playing Solaris, right? It's a space game, I like it, but something about every space game makes me go, um, actually, there's no harness this works. And I figured, what if, hear me out, instead of bitching about it, I try to correct it myself. And that is the story of how I'm gonna correct the physics in a game where nobody even cares. Welcome to the channel, everyone. By the way, if you click away from this video, I will come to your house and I will eat your sugar cubes. Anyway, let's get started. So we wanna implement physics in Stellaris. I'm gonna create a mod for that and let's plan that. It will have one of Newton's laws of motion, namely what is in motion stays in motion. We'll do something involving Einstein, not being able to go faster than light and all that. I definitely want another kind of movement stuff, but I don't know what yet. D no, don't fall into the sun. And finally, we'll get the Stellaris Discord gang together, and I'm gonna make them play this, but I'm not gonna tell them what it is. I think that will be fun. I don't have a jump. I don't have a dry. The first part of the plan was relatively simple. See this? It's... <gasps> Spaceships don't have a max speed, silly. Things on a planet have max speeds because the air and ground are pushing back on them. The faster you go, the harder they push, until they push you back as much as you're accelerating. In space, on the other hand, well, imagine a truck driving on ice and you have the right picture. It doesn't slow down, it just keeps going faster. So let's put that in the game. We just go through the list of ships, set the speed to something stupidly high they'll never actually reach, and reduce the acceleration for game balance. And do that for another ship. And another ship. And another ship. Cool. Now let's boot up the game, and... Voila! Eh, except for that, don't be... Shh. And with that, the ships now move scientific... Damn. So yeah, FTL shouldn't really be a thing in this game. So what I'm gonna do now is change it so that the empty FTL drive can be used to cross between the stars, but it will do so extremely slowly. Because, you know, a trip to a different star should take at least a few years, even at light speed. Because, of course, you can't go faster than the speed of light. Then, the normal FTL drives will just hide those, so you can't use them anymore. So let's turn on the game and test this. Yeah. Now, some of you might be saying, Wait a minute, how can that tiny ship even go on a trip without help for years on end? Wouldn't crossing the galaxy take, like, a massive generation ship or something? Of course not, you idiot. Really? What kind of sci-fi nerd are you that you don't understand relativity? Pfft, I guess that to justify myself, I'll just have to explain time dilation better than- Dude, I think I'll just believe you. Within this video. No, you really don't have to do that. Alright, I'll try. To understand time dilation, you have to know two things first. One, there is no such thing as moving or standing still in physics. Am I standing still and is the ship moving? Or is the ship standing still and I'm moving? Physics doesn't care. It still makes sense either way, but... 2. Light is always moving at the speed of light. If I turn this light on, the beam will move away from me at the speed of light. If I now fly after it at half the speed of light, how fast is it going away from me? Half the speed of light? No, you idiot. It's flying away from me at the speed of light. Because light always moves at the speed of light. Think about it. If it doesn't matter whether I'm moving or standing still, it should move away from me at the same speed, whether I'm moving or standing still. Except wait a minute, those two things don't always add up. For example, let's say hypothetically that I shine this light in your eye. If we're standing still, it looks like this. If we're moving, it looks like this. Notice how the distance changed. So how does physics still not care? Well, we can't fix this by changing the speed of the light because that violates number two. So the only thing left to change is time. If time runs slower if we're moving, or faster for people standing still, then the time it takes for the light to reach you is the same, and there is no difference whether we're moving or not. And that's why, assuming our ship is traveling at almost the speed of light, it doesn't take years to reach the destination for the guys on the ship. Okay, yeah. Uh, anyway. Realistically, it's not just ships that can't travel faster than light, it's also information. So if I give this guy the order to move, he shouldn't know that I want him to move for about two years. But frankly, I've had enough of coding for today, so let's save that for another day. For now, you just have to suspend your disbelief. In a minute, I'm gonna make some unsuspecting Stellaris YouTubers deal with a mod I created. But before I do that, let's vary things up with something else. 
What wonky law of physics could I still implement? Hmm. I wanted to do gravity, but as shown by the deceleration fiasco, we actually have very little control over the way ships move. It's just not moddable. There was only one thing left to do. Make my own Stellars. With Blackjack and physics. So I booted up the free game engine Unity and got to work. I'm only replicating an entire game. It can't be that hard. I've worked quite hard on this and I think it's working well enough for the video now. I actually used some of the real game's GFX in this. Uh, anyway, this is what scientifically accurate Stellaris looks like. Just kidding, it looks like this. <laughs> so, the graphics obviously leave something to be desired, and this guy isn't the best pilot. I mean, uh, close enough, buddy. <laughs> he does move in a scientifically accurate way with the deceleration and everything. And I have this super special toggle here that will grant us access to gravity. Let's just go- oh, no, no, no! Ah! Oh my god, look at him. I haven't tested this before. As a test, let's see if we can get him from one side of the solar system to the other side. Don't get too close to the Earth, buddy. Okay, boss the lava world. Good, good. No, don't fall into the sun. No, no, keep going. Oh my god, just get out of the sun. Wait, no, 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 no. Gas giant, gas giant, gas giant. Ah! We'll go boss the right side this time. Now use gravity. And we're just gonna go the long way around. Keep going. Boss the Earth. Well done. Accelerate boss Mars. Boss Mars. Woo! You don't want to know how much takes that took. I'll let scripted me take it over again now. For the final part of this video, I'd like to see how some pro Stellaris players deal with my mod. They have no idea what I'm about to throw at them. They just have to figure it out on their own. But first, let me introduce the gang. We got EP3O. You. you might know him from his streams, memes, or as the guy who got his ass kicked in Stefan's $600 tournament. Hey, wh why are you bringing that up for? <laughs> Next, we have the meme lord Kentaro. Ever seen this in your recommended? Well, that's him. We also brought Montu Place, the resident tester. With his expertise in Stellarisology, we can figure out the wider consequences of the change I made. Next, we have our French friend Ragunas. He stabs backs, he builds castles, he probably does a lot of other things too, but we have no idea what he's saying half the time. I didn't understand this thing of what you just said. Eh? The bus goes yes, yes. And last but not least, the Strategizer. This competitive Solaris player might have to re-strategize when he figures out what I've done to this game. I think we can get started. Ready up. Well, I found something already that you've changed. Well, I don't have a jump. I don't have a drive. Oh, interesting. Oh, no FTL on the ship. Oh, why is my sign? Interesting. Oh, wait, it's slowest. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> no, this wait, it's still really slow, is it not? I know it's on slowest, but 400. Oh, okay, it's going to take like five years to win. <laughs> yeah, but it's because it's it, it's it's on slowest, right? <laughs> and slowest makes it so much worse as well. <laughs> Can we rename our ship stations now then? Would that be appropriate? <laughs> you know, there was this guy called Einstein at some point and he said something about wow. not being able to go faster and than light. No so I thought, you there's know, no for the sake of it's realism. Disgusting. Realism. Oh, it's, oh. it's slow, but it's realistic. Dude, this is so much fun. Like, literally AFK, go to sleep and wake up. It, it... <laughs> Dude, it's this, quite funny this though. like the opposite of, of optimizing <laughs> the tension. This is the polar opposite. You need elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that more? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> funny. There's Sherm, dude. I don't is, think it's is funny there anymore. More? Nope. Is this just it? <laughs> no, I misclicked and my ship just went FDL to the wrong system, but now it's going to take <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh <no>. That's <laughs> always the plan. If you attack somebody, by the time your fleet gets there, they'll have had years to build up. Yeah. So the fleet yeah. that you attack with is going to be out of date dramatically. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it just dies. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer moment. I think this is a tier 3 take, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think so. And it does like stupidly low rates below 50 years. I, I know my my math. Don't say that word, they'll click away again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the retention! Quick, throw in a 30 second meme! Are you ready? I that. This is very wait, important. For what? Like nothing is we, we need to break the we need to break the mode, right? Uh, but wait, what do I have to do? Um it's going to be hard. 
become my vassal or be destroyed. How about no? I can't defend myself. Just being Here they come. Bruh. Oh my god, the slow motion ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the cinematic experience right here. Da, 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 da. Wow, this is so much. Oh, oh, oh my god, you got absolutely smashed. Wow, that was sad. I wasn't even watching. Did, is he just gone? Oh my god, <laughs> that was sad. What? That battery build a load of ships. Like you've got enough time. <laughs> like he's in, he's in Fedora. You've got years till he's at your home. I got battle ships. Now we'll just build some of those. What? Oh, oh we're oh, at war. It's done already. That happened. Uh -oh. oh, you got to level five. You must have got to level five. Oh, okay, wow. so did it work? Uh... Oh my yes, it is. Can you jump with those? Because don't they start? Yes, they do. Yeah, I think you can. Look, look at your homework. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? What? He's in my own world! <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Let's just say that this is a uh, Ragune's win because um he found a way to break the mod. We'll just uh, wrap it up. So thank you so much for helping and uh bye. Oh my god, so I've been working on these three chords, right? And I'm really trying to make just like a sensible progression, but the third chord keeps sounding funny for some reason. It's like that three dragons meme. Oh. Oh.